Hey, my name is Anthony Campbell, and I am playing Dez in this production. And I'm Enid King, and I'm playing Reggie. The name of the production is a Skeleton Crew. It's by Dominique Moriso, um, and it's basically a uh, work family uh, that works in an auto plant in Michigan, um, and they are coming to terms with a situation that happens with the plant. Um, and we just see the consequences and what each person faces individually and collectively as a um, as a unit. I'm Reggie. I play a supervisor. Um, been a supervisor for about 15 years in the plant. Uh, high school dropout that was able to work his way through the ranks with some help. Uh, definitely some help from Faye, uh, who is played by Tanya Jackson. Um, and so it's very like a mother-son, uh, close, familiar relationship that we have. And my counterpart here, uh, Des, we have our own unique relationship. There are a lot of things that I see in myself, uh, um, in him. Um, and so it kind of, there's some ways that that works and there's some ways that that clashes. So I play Dez, and Dez is, has been working at the firm for about like maybe three years or so. And he's a very ambitious, playful guy, very street savvy, and he's very driven. That's, that's the key word for him. He's very driven in what he wants to achieve. And when he came into this plant, his, his dynamic with like um, Reggie was more of like kind of a brother thing until he moved up. And as far as Faye, He's more of, um, she's more like an aunt to him. And she kind of, you know, they all kind of tell him how to do things and stuff like that, but he, he still has his own way of getting what he needs to get to. There's a certain rhythm with, I, I believe there's a certain rhythm with every character that allows you to portray them authentically. And I think that's one of the key things for me that I really look for whenever I jump into a role. Yeah. Um, in addition to that, I always um, I try to continue to remind myself that uh, the characters that we're portraying are, are people. That a lot of times it seems simple, but a lot of times when we look at the characters on the page, we tend to separate ourselves from them and, and think that we would never think like that or we would never consider those things or talk that way. But placing yourself completely in the scenario um, and the, the possibilities open up and not really not being afraid to let the characters breathe with their own language, with their own flaws, with their own abilities, with their own fears and happiness, all of those things. If we let the character flow through completely, then I think it just opens up everything.